Sylvia Private Limited and subsequently venturing into the healthcare and the living of seniors speaks volumes about his versatility and commitment to the well-being of the society. A heartfelt gratitude goes to Shri E. Palnisamy, the chairman of Armstrong Group, for his vision and continued support that has played a pivotal role in the growth of Springmont Public School. We are also honored to have Dr. Nalini Prabhu Shankar, the founder chairperson of Springmont Institutions, the visionary leader behind the Springmont Public School and the founder of Springmont Institutions, who had tirelessly worked to foster an environment where knowledge is not just acquired, but embraced with enthusiasm and passion. A warm welcome to Mrs. Mahalakshmi is a beckon of support. Her dedication to providing quality education and a holistic development has been a driving force behind Springmont Public School. Today, as we celebrate the 10 years decade, 10 years of achievement, let us look forward for a future with the same zeal and commitment. May Springmont Public School continue to be a nurturing ground for intellectual curiosity, creativity, and character development. Once again, a warm welcome to each and everyone. Let the festives begin. Thank you. Thank you, Somita, for entangling the audience with the words of warmth. Light represents God's presence and spells the darkness and illumines. Love and light are the God and therefore our own being and everything that exists. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Let us wish this light of education takes over the darkness of differences, injustice and violence in the world and guide us towards progress, equality and freedom. To kickstart this celestial celebration, we invite you to join us in a moment of tranquility with the invocation song that will set the tone for an evening filled with positivity and grace. Let's commence the program with the soulful invocation song dedicated to Lord Rama, sung by our nightingales of grade 9 and 11. This melodious rendition seeks to invoke divine blessings, immersing us in the spiritual essence of Lord Rama's virtues, righteousness, strength, and unwavering devotion. May the enchanting melodies weave a tapestry of tranquility, connecting us to the divine and setting a harmonious tone for the rest of our event. I now invite the Honorable Chief Guest, Colonel A. Sridharan, our esteemed Chairman, Mr. Palani Swami, our beloved correspondent, Dr. Nalini Prabhu Shankar, and our esteemed Principal, Mrs. Mahalakshmi, to light up the lamp.
you dignitaries for doing the honors. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to our friends for the rhythmic rendition of the prayer song that filled our hearts with warmth and devotion. In the grand cosmic tradition, it's time to acknowledge the guiding stars of tonight as a team chief guest. Their presence is like a constellation of inspiration that brightens our educational galaxy. We request our beloved chairman, Mr. Palani Swami, to honor our guests with a memento. spreads only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Today, amidst us, we have such an inspiring personality, Colonel A. Sridharan. We now invite our chief guest to address the gathering. Respected uh, Chairman Sir, Ma'am, the parents of this uh, students of this fantastic school, Ungalalurukum Mali Vanakam. It's a great honor indeed for me to stand in front of you and address the respected uh, the, the, the school and the faculty members, the dear parents, and of course, the best is the students. And I thank every one of you for giving me this honor. And I hope I'm worthy of this kind of a great honor bestowed upon me. Even when I was in the army, I was never escorted by a band. And what a fantastic way they played the band. It took me down only three days ago, on 29th of January, 2024, when you had this uh, beating the retreat in uh, Vijay Chowk, Delhi, when 1,000 uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, CRPF, BSF band people performed for one hour and 15 minutes of a scintillating evening that culminated the end of Republic Day Parade. And today, this kind of an honor I never got. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now, what is it that uh, I am expected to uh, speak? I don't know. Frankly speaking, I have not written my speech. I don't think I should write anything. I never delivered a speech whenever I was in the army or wherever I was in the Defense Services Staff College or in the School of Artillery in Devlali or anywhere. Some of the leadership qualities in us tells us there is no need for a script to speak. So I will just speak and share with you for five minutes or maximum because as a 75 year young man, I don't want to bore uh, the parents and everybody of some wisdom which is coming with me from 1949 when I was born in Delhi. So that's a long journey. But what I'm seeing today is uh, totally a different kind of a, uh, you know, the, of India, which is uh, from 1949, it was two years after the independence, 
and having seen the wars in uh, 65, 71, and the confusions that we have in the Northeast, and the insurgency that we had, and we also had to send our troops to Sri Lanka. It has been a fantastic journey of mine, and I, think I should thank God for giving me that kind of a life, as I was telling ma'am that, you know, I saw this country free of cost. They took me everywhere and they gave me the ticket. But the culture from one end to the other, if I was fortunate to see and understand, I think God has been kind to me. So what is it that the school gives you? I always say that my school in Delhi, I studied in Delhi and I studied in a normal nine rupees per month school. I did not study in a huge convent or something like that. No, it's a, it's a basic madrasi higher secondary school meant for Tamilians. I studied there. But my school days were different. I'm still connected with my alumni in the school. I went to Delhi only two years back. I met them and I came back. But my school days are totally different to what is being taught to you today. Your education is what you're all getting in the school. Along with the education, I see there is so much of other knowledge that is being uh, transmitted to you and given to you by your faculty members and everybody. And you're asked to stand on your feet at a much younger age than what my generation saw. So therefore, is education the beginning and the end in the school or it is a lifelong journey? I think even today, I am learning a lot. There is no end to learning. Let us not say that education stops at school and recommences in college and ends in your PhD and thereafter you don't learn. No. I think every day, every minute, every moment, we find that this education that we got in this wonderful school will take you miles into the future of India. If India is what it is today in the eyes of the world, if India is shining, if India has got the largest middle income group, it is the India of the future that the children of this school are going to bring. Therefore, the past people, who are, the old people like us who are trying to charter this country's future, they will not be there. This generation is going to lead us. Leading doesn't mean that you have to be in a political party. Leading in any field of endeavor that you choose. So one of these young students said that you have to shine, you have to show the knowledge, you have to be the best in everything that you touch. So that is the kind of a knowledge you are learning in the school. And this is, I, according to my construction industry, this is the basement. We have to go to 120 floors above this basement. But this basement will always hold you for the future. I still thank my teachers. I still thank my principal of my school. I still thank everybody for what they tried to teach me. Whether I took the teaching or not, those days were different. Now it is a competitive world. Everything is on competition. I mean, due respect, I also have grandchildren. I also got two daughters. The aspiration levels of the parents propels the ambitions in the children. You are all so aspirational as parents, which I also see in my two daughters and my grandchildren, that the ambition levels that we trust on the children is much more. And the beauty is they are much aware than their own parents and their own grandparents and everybody. And they are able to take and see for themselves what is the future holds for them. So de facto, the guiding factor is established here, and that will take you in good stead wherever you go. And that is the only message that I have, because for me, the best times of my life were in school. It was the least worrisome for me. My mother ensured that I got up, I went to school, I went by the town bus, I had my tiffin, they ensured that I came back, and uh, everything was without worries. 
once you cross the school, they will say you are an adult. And thereafter, worries start mounting. So to me, if I had to go back to life, if I had to go back in the time machine, I would maybe be very worried. But you know, today I'm standing in front of a drone. And uh, only today India has signed a huge uh, uh, deal with the United States for uh, about 31 drones costing us billions of dollars. I never expected this. I don't even know how well I look in front of this drone. And I, we use the drones for operations. We use the drones for carrying weapons. We use drones for so many other things. So today, the, I think uh, we as, uh, as parents or grandparents or anybody, brothers and sisters of the young students of the school, I think we are fortunate to see them grow and see them grow quite rapidly, in, not in the physical terms, but definitely in the knowledge that they have got. And my best wishes are with the students, because take it from me, you are going to lead this country and an old man like me, and not the other way around. So for which I wish you all the very best in life, from your parents, your faculty members, your teachers, your mentors, your gurus, or whomever you have. Ultimately, it is in you. And you will achieve it because your foundation has been laid in this school. And because of which, you will be what you will be tomorrow, what you are dreaming, what your parents are aspiring you to be, and what your ambitions are. So enjoy, study, and let the world be in your hands. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. Um. I must learn this today. I must work hard. Why are you even learning so hard? Anyways, you'll forget it the next month. Probably he'll remember it till the exams and not a day after that. At least I'll get a certificate and a medal to put it up in my showcase and admire my excellence every day. But will your school really acknowledge and appreciate your efforts? Of course. Why not? Champions are made when potentials are converted into performance. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. May I request our Honorable Chief Guest Colonel A. Sridharan to crown the achievers with certificates and prizes. Academic Excellence Award goes to Ridashini S. of Grade 4.
Students who have secured 98% will be granted a concession of 50% in their term fee. 95 to 98% will be granted a concession of 25% in their term fee. And the students who have secured 90 to 95% will be granted a concession of 10% in their term fee. I ask the class go.
Thomas Palnisamy, sir, to do the honors. Community service of grade 9 to 12 goes to salvation of grade 12. Come on, come on, come on. 
Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, dignitaries, for doing the honors. And now it's time to unveil the new logo launched by the Springmount Institutions to Light. We request our honorable chief guest, Colonel A. Sridharan, and our esteemed correspondent, Dr. Nalini Prabhu Shankar, to unveil the logo. As the curtains rise to unveil the emblem of Springmount Institutions, the symbolism embedded in our logo transcends mere aesthetics, resonating with profound significance. We request, we request the dignitaries to kindly be seated. The shield, standing tall and resolute, encapsulates our unwavering commitment for protection and strength in fostering a secure educational environment. 
embraced by the olive leaf. A timeless emblem of peace, a logo, encapsulates the essence of harmonious learning. This powerful combination symbolizes not only the safeguarding of knowledge, but also a dedication to nurturing growth. As we present this emblem for the first time, it serves as a visual manifesto articulating our institution's ethos, a shield of protection, a beacon of strength, an enduring commitment to education. We also find pleasure in announcing that we are releasing our school's annual magazine that embodies the essence of our school, the brand new Spring Tales magazine. Now I request our esteemed chief guest, Colonel A. Sridharan, our beloved chairman, Mr. Sri Palani Swami, Mr. Fajit, our chief editor, Ms. J Ms. Divija, student editor, to reveal the school magazine. for doing the honors. Honored dignitaries, we kindly request you to take your seat in the VIP stand to witness the program. As we gather here tonight, let's reflect on the vibrant spirit that defines us, pulsating with stories, creativity, and everything that makes Springmount unique. The name Spring Tales was chosen to symbolize the dynamic and lively tales of our school community that resonates with each student, teacher, and parent present here. This magazine isn't just a collection of pages. It's a journey, a testament to our shared experiences, accomplishments, and the extraordinary talent that thrives within our school walls. Spring Tales encapsulates the collective tales of our community, beating with pride, passion and the uniqueness that sets us apart. So without further ado, let's embrace and own the tales of Spring Mound. Hold on to your seats, folks. As we traverse time, we are about to witness a decade of memories milestones and pure magic. Our 10-year video awaits filled with laughter, triumphs, and a few unforgettable bloopers. Ten years, a decade unfolds, a journey through time. The vivid memory of the Boni Puja still lingers, where Dr. Navni Prabhu Shankar, our founder chairperson, gazed upon me with precious eyes filled with love, 
joy and passion. A team like a mother to a child, ensuring a cherished dream took form in shape and in reality. The very walls of Springmount Public School. Can you guess who I am? I am the Springmount Public School. As the Springmount Public School building, a sanctuary of excellence, I reflect on an extraordinary odyssey. I am the heartbeat of this special school, and your children, like little droplets and gentle breeze, infused life into every corner, turning classrooms into vibrant villas. playground into a pulsating energy soul. Within these walls, greatness bloomed and light treasure troves of wonderful memories that still live the day. Faculty radiated happiness and pride as distinguished individuals paid tribute. Spreading the school's name globally, I remain a silent admirer, profoundly proud of your achievements and amazed at the strides made in such a brief span. This journey emanates from a simple vision to prepare children for the real world. Yes, the ever-changing reality embodying the school's mission. Our children consistently excel securing places in prestigious institutions worldwide. and have secured wonderful results over the years consistently. The dream was always of a happy school, a heaven where children, teachers, staffs and parents found joy. In 10 years, we have made a difference. And now, we embark on a marathon to build a timeless institution of excellence. We look ahead, ready to reinvent ourselves with the best and next practices in teaching and learning. The goal for the next decade is clear. To reach out to even more children, solidifying our position among the world's best schools. Throughout our educational journey, we have garnered numerous awards and accolades, serving as a testament to our commitment to excellence. Proudly introducing Spring Mount Valley School in Perundurai, a new milestone. Grateful for community support as we soar higher in education. Dr. Malini Prabhushankar, our founder chairperson, is leading this from the front to make the dream of Spring Mount Valley School a reality. The visionary perspectives and meticulous planning is visible in every aspect of this campus on the educational programs adapted for this school. In this institution, 
you all continue to work tirelessly, building a future for our wonderful nation. Yes, for 10 long years, from dawn to dusk, I have been a silent witness to this wonderful transformation. And as the journey continues, I offer my humble yet unwavering best wishes. Let us harmonize and sing together, celebrating the beginning of a new chapter. Gratitude fills my heart. As we conclude this 10 years journey, to parents, students, dedicated faculty, my parents and family. Your unwavering support has transformed countless lives. Together, we have made a difference, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of education. Thank you for being the pillars of strength and inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, let's warmly invite Dr. Nalini Prabhushankar and our outgoing grade 12 students to grace this stage for a soulful prayer song. Accompanied by the artistic brilliance of our revered art teachers, Mr. Prem and Ms. Rajpriya, presenting a live portrait of Lord Ganesha, a testament to their impactful contributions to our beautiful campus projects. करता दुख हरता वार्ता विघ्नाची नुर्वे पुर्वे प्रेम कृपा जयाची सर्वांगे सुंदर उटिशे दुराची कंठे झळके माळ मुक्ता भरणाची जय देव 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 जय मंगल मूर्ति दर्शन माते चिता भरा तुझ गौरी कुमरा चंदनाची उटी कुम कुम के शरा हिरे जड़ित मुकुट शोभा तो भरा रुण सुन तीनो पूरे चरणी घागरिया जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय मंगल
and starting this spectacular event with a graceful note. We also thank our art teachers for that mind-blowing and exemplary work of art. And now, let the cultural fiesta begin. for a grand entrance well because the DJs may start the fire on the dance floor we are here to prove that MCs won't burn the house down we are just here to set the stage on fire with laughter and entertainment hey can you think of a person who's both fiercely strong and dearly kind you mean a person strong and mighty like a warrior and as kind as the fostering air? No way. I don't think such a person could exist. Well, there did exist a person like that. The great and mighty Lord Krishna. And now, get ready for a spectacle that will transport you to the mystical realms of joy. Our welcome Krishna dance. Watch as the divine meets the delightful in a dance that's both enchanting and entertaining.
गोपाल बोलो गोविंद बोलो हरि गोपाल बोलो
Then the seeds of ambition were sown. The pages of another remarkable chapter in the story of Srikant Public School unfolded throughout the past year. With great pride and enthusiasm, we now present the culmination of our collective efforts and accomplishments. The annual report for the Cabinet Year 2023-24. Kindergarten achievements nurture tomorrow's young leaders. This year, our kindergarten classrooms were not just spaces. They were dynamic environments, carefully crafted to serve as a third teacher, fostering a love for learning and exploration. Our dedicated educators orchestrated a symphony of language, setting the stage for young learners to embark on an incredible voyage of discovery. Learning spaces. The heartbeat of a kindergarten was a monthly themed curriculum where each learning adventure seamlessly integrated with overarching theme. From themed assemblies to the spark curiosity to our thought new sessions, introducing a new world each day, our little learners eagerly embraced the world of language, expanding their vocabulary with enthusiasm. Juliet Lilt. In our commitment to experiential learning, our kindergartners actively participated in Julia Duty, a program in the transfer of classrooms into the laboratories of wonder. Scientific explorations became a tangible experience, igniting the spark of curiosity and nurturing a scientific approach to learning. Wonder Weather Stays. Wonder Wednesdays became a weekly renderworld with curiosity as students dealt with mysteries that intrigued them, unlocking the secrets of rainbows and unraveling the wonders of the world around them. Pretty Play Play-based learning took center stage with theme Pretty Place. Our little ones explored the concept of running Michelin star restaurant, showcasing creativity, cooperation and a deep understanding of real-world scenarios. Field trips. Field trips carefully aligned with monthly themes transported our students from temples to eco parks, connecting classroom concepts to real-life experiences. A highlight was a family theme, where moms and kids bonded at temple, reinforcing cultural connections and family roots. Show and Tell Show and Tell sessions became a platform for young communicators to develop vital speaking skills, sharing their thoughts, experiences, and pressured positions with their peers. Splash Pool The Splash Pool became an aquatic classroom linking swimming with the concept of water animals, buoyancy, and objects that float and sink. Our young minds made a splash quite literally with their journey of discovery. Now it's day. The team bonding and independence were nurtured through a concert-based night stage. The space only seat through night stage saw our kindergartners partying with extra friends, fostering camaraderie and independence in a fine frill atmosphere. Kinder Sports. Finally, our next athletes embarked on a kinder sports journey, experiencing everything from tiny steps with adventures to becoming winter champion. These activities not only promoted physical development, but also instant a love for movement and teamwork. Festive connections. Special celebrations such as Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Grandparents Day strengthens family school bonds, reinforcing our commitment to continual and cultural connections. Festival celebrations where students and parents actively participated and displayed our dedication to fostering a rich, inclusive, and culturally aware learning environment. In conclusion, the Kindergarten Division at Springtown Public School has been a vibrant canvas of learning where each stroke of creativity, curiosity, and collaboration has contributed to a masterpiece of a young learner's educational journey. Thank you for your unwavering support and cheers to another year of inspired learning and growth at Springmont Public School.
navigating academic excellence, a transformative journey at Spring One Public School. At Spring One Public School, we have redefined curriculum delivery. We need a tapestry of transformative pedagogies that propel our students towards unparalleled academic excellence. Across all subjects, the classroom is pulsing with energy. As science experiments come to life, social science unfolds to a dynamic mock parliaments and role playing. The map transcends abstract concepts with real life connections in our engaging math lab. Our language classes, vibrant hubs of creativity, have seamless and integrated data into learning process. Recognizing the pivotal role of spoken language skills, dedicated classes empower our students to master linguistic nuances. Day SNDs, a cornerstone for approach, transcend the convention, introducing new words in all four languages fostering vocabulary development and serving as platform for integrating diverse concepts and subjects. This meticulous planning not only enriches learning, but also ignites healthy competition through captivating quizzes. In embracing technological advancements, our ICT classes have undergone remarkable transformation. We have introduced AI, coding, and STEM activities to equip our students with future-ready skills. Our commitment to innovation extends to note-taking practices where mind maps, visual organizers, and reflective feedback have become an integral component of a teaching methodology, nurturing deeper comprehension and critical thinking. To instill a spirit of healthy learning we have introduced weekly competitions in spelling, reading, mental math, and handwriting, providing students with opportunities to showcase their talents. The stellar port results are a testament to our students' unwavering education and effectiveness of a holistic approach with many securing top positions. At Spring One Public School, we don't just celebrate academic achievements. We take pride in cultivating well-rounded, forward-thinking individuals poised for success in rapidly evolving world. This transformative journey is a testament to our collective commitment to academic brilliance and holistic development of our students. tradition, values, and the vibrant tapestry of our annual day celebration. As we embark on this journey tonight, our theme revolves around the bedrock of our existence, values. And what better way to kick off this spectacular evening than by delving into the rich history of Tirupur, a city that, a city that echoes with tradition, innovation, and an unwavering spirit. Tonight's program is deeply rooted in one of our school's core values. Resilience, a value mirrored in the rich history of Tirupur, where the community has consistently overcome challenges, embraced change with determination and strength, which will be displayed by our artistic students of grade five. Our first act, a mesmerizing dance drama, will transport you through time, unveiling the origin of Tirupur's name, the sanctity of its temple, the indomitable popular community, the flourishing knitting industry, and the global impact that has carved its name into India's GDP. But the story doesn't end there. We'll witness the torch of tradition and entrepreneurship passing securely into the hands of the next generation, ensuring that the values that built Tirupur continue to shine bright. 
Let's embark on a captivating journey into the heart of Tirupur, a city with rich history and a testament to resilience and progress. Absolutely, Krishika. Tonight, we are not just going to talk about Tirupur. We are going to immerse ourselves in its fascinating story. Picture this. Ancient tales, stolen shepherds, and a city that rose from adversity. Intriguing, isn't it? Indeed, Vinay. And what better way to start our exploration than with a mesmerizing enactment that takes us back to the very roots of Tirupur's existence. I can't wait, so buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, as we unfold the pages of Tirupur's extraordinary journey. Get ready for a night filled with history, culture, and a celebration of success that will leave you inspired. To kick off our program, let's delve into the ancient past of Tirupur. Legend has it the name Tirupur traces back to an incident during the times of the Pandavas. Thieves stole the shepherds of Pandavas only to be recaptured by their forces. Thus, Tirupur meaning turn and Ur meaning place. The city's ancient artifacts, including coins and pottery, bear witness to this historical significance. transporting you back to the as you close your eyes let your imagination be your guide transporting you back to the ancient tapestry of Tirupur's genesis picture a vast open landscape stretching as far as the eye can see with shepherd peacefully tending to their flocks the air is crisp carrying the echoes of a bygone era and the sun begins to cast long shadows on the rugged terrain. In this hushed atmosphere, imagine standing amidst the shepherds, observing their simple yet profound way of life. Suddenly, the serenity is shattered as a group of audacious thieves, driven by their daring pursuits, descend upon the scene. Feel the tension rising in the once calm air. As the forces of the Pandavas rally, sense the collective determination to reclaim what was unjustly taken. Visualize the thieves emerging from the shadows, injecting an element of suspense into the narrative. Feel the urgency as the forces of the Pandavas, their valor on full display, embark on a relentless pursuit. The rugged terrain becomes a battleground a visual spectacle of determination, resilience and triumph. The very essence of Tirupu, the turn of fate, is palpable as the forces reclaim what was stolen. The stage resonates with the heartbeat of ancient Tirupur, each moment etching its identity into the city's history. The excitement is building up, isn't it? But before we reveal the next act, let's shine the spotlight on the beating heart of Tirupur, the popular community. The unwavering spirit, commitment and hard work have been the driving force behind Tirupur's success. Absolutely. The popular community are the unsung heroes. And tonight, we'll celebrate their incredible contributions. And what celebration without a dance? To celebrate the cultural vibrancy of Tirupur, we present the Kumi dance. 
Kumi dance is a traditional dance form performed during festivals and family occasions, reflecting the city's deep-rooted tradition and the joyous spirit of its people. Get ready for the vibrant Kumi dance, a symbol of celebration and joy. Close your eyes. Let your imagination be your guide. extravaganza that will have you on your feet. But let's not forget the economic powerhouse that Tirupur has become. From its humble beginnings in the 1930s to being a key player in India's GDP, it's a take of sheer determination and success. And in the midst of all, enter the Kada brothers, the pioneers who brought knitting machines to Tirupur, setting the stage for the city's evolution into the renowned t-shirt city. Our journey takes us to the 1930s when Thirupur laid the foundation for its legacy in the garments industry. Mr. Gulam Kadar brought knitting machines to the city, establishing baby knitting industries in Kadarpet. This marked the beginning of Thirupur's journey as the T-shirt city. Let's witness the enchanting scene where the Kadar brothers, fascinated by the end product, ventured to Kolkata to procure machinery for their knitwear enterprise. As we dim the lights and step back into the pages of history, let us witness a pivotal moment in Tirupur's evolution, the saga of the Kada brothers. In the year 1929, Envision the Kada brothers embarking on a journey to Calcutta. Their hearts are flame with curiosity. The bustling streets of Calcutta, a hub of industry and innovation, unfold before them. In the midst of this vibrant city, the Kada brothers find themselves standing before a marvel of technology, the mesmerizing knitting machines. The rhythmic hum and the intricate dance of needles capture their imagination, sparking a flame of inspiration within their hearts. Picture the brothers, their eyes alight with determination as they make the decision to bring this revolutionary technology 
back to Tirupur. The stage transforms into a canvas of dreams mirroring the streets of Calcutta as the brothers lay the groundwork for the thriving knitwear industry. And now, as we seamlessly transition from this historic enactment, a dance takes center stage. It is a celebration of the countless hours, the tireless efforts, and the unwavering dedication of the employees who breathe life into the Kada brothers' vision. The excitement is building up, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Picture this. A turning point in Tirupur's history, a visit from Verona, an Italian garment importer that opened the doors to global recognition. Are you ready to witness such a turning point? As we journey through the corridors of time, let us now cast our gaze upon a pivotal moment in Tirupur's narrative. The entry of Verona, a herald of change in 1978. The stage is set to depict the bustling atmosphere of that transformative year. In the backdrop of changing world, imagine Verona, a visionary garment importer from Italy. Traversing the globe in search of new horizons, the air is charged with anticipation as he arrives in Tirupur, drawn by the whispers of a city steeped in potential. Verona, with discerning eyes, recognizes the untapped potential of Tirupur. Feel the excitement in the air as the city awakens to the prospects of global business. The stage transforms into a tableau of international trade, echoing the pulse of economic evolution. Verona's strategic move becomes the catalyst, bringing European business to Tirupur and in turn setting the stage for the city's global recognition. reflection of economic vibrancy that swept through the city. The beat of the music echoes the heartbeat of a thriving economy and the performers adorned in attire representing the diverse industries of Tirupur 
step into the timeline the taller dance it's not just a dance it's a celebration of the economic growth that ripple through the lives of tirupur's residents the stage is adorned with symbols of progress like factories trade routes and the unmistakable hum of industrial machinery as the dancers move they embody the spirit of hard working individuals whose dedication and resilience fuel the city's progress Fast forward to today. Tirupur stands tall as a major contributor to India's GDP with over 3.5 lakh people employed and exports crossing rupees 11000 crores in 2006-2007. The city's growth has been phenomenal. Despite challenges, Tirupur remains as an economic powerhouse and a shining example of India's industrial prowess. Now, observe as the students gracefully enter, each carrying a flag of a country with which Tirupur shares its business ties. Ladies and gentlemen, as we reflect on Tirupur's unwavering resilience and economic might, let us take a moment to visualize the global landscape that this remarkable city has contributed to. In the backdrop of this narrative, let us present a visual spectacle that encapsulates Tirupur's international trade relations and the promise of its future. Imagine before you a soaring graph of Tirupur's GDP. a testament to the city's economic prowess that has weathered challenges and emerged stronger the stage transforms into a canvas where the colors of prosperity paint a vivid picture
காட்சியாரு எங்க குமரனின் வரலாறு துணியும் கொடுத்த ஒரு நஞ்சில துணிவும் கொடுத்த ஒரு அன்பு சாட்சியாரு எங்க குமரனின் வரலாறு எங்க ஒரு திருப்பூர் எங்க ஒரு திருப்பூர் எங்க ஒரு திருப்பூரில் புகழ்பாரு எங்க ஒரு திருப்பூர் எங்க first generation entrepreneurs with hearts full of pride hand over the responsibility to the next generation the students representing the torch bearers of tomorrow receive the tirupur flag with a pledge a commitment to carry the legacy forward with dedication innovation and a deep rooted sense of culture this isn't just a transition it's a symbolic moment of continuity where the baton of prosperity is passed from one generation to the next ensuring that Tirupur's legacy as an economic powerhouse remains not only intact but continues to flourish on the global stage. one what a mind blowing way to tell a story we felt immense pleasure to have witnessed this piece of history which has a huge impact on our country's development krishika isn't nature just breathtaking i mean Ab the beauty of the natural world is unparalleled absolutely the way the sunlight filters through the leaves the sound of a babbling brook and the color of the sunlight it's also mesmerizing and the diversity of life from the smallest insects to the grandest trees nature is a masterpiece of creation it's sad to think that such beauty is under threat deforestation pollution and climate change are all taking a toll on our environment you're right we need to do something to protect nature because every small step makes a huge difference from the roots of tradition We now branch out to celebrate the essence of Mother Earth. Our nature dance is a vivid canvas painted with the hues of conservation, a rhythmic ode to the values we hold dear, a reminder that as stewards of this planet, our responsibility is as timeless as nature itself. Oh. 
energy and expressive lovely choreography it was very engaging to, to watch have you ever delved into the history of king shivaji his story is truly fascinating absolutely king shivaji or chatrapati shivaji maharaj was a remarkable figure in indian history his military tactics and administrative skills were legendary i find it impressive how he established the maratha empire against the powerful mughal empire and the adil shahi sultanate shivaji was not just a warrior but also a visionary ruler his governance was marked by justice religious tolerance and economic prosperity our next zelia sag by our grade 8 students takes us on a historical voyage with the legendary shivaji an embodiment of courage and patriotism as we witness this gripping performance let's be inspired by the indomitable spirit that shaped empires and defined leadership the valor of shivaji teaches us enduring lessons about courage leadership and the love for motherland so sit back relax and let the saga of shivaji unfold in a dance that echoes with the resonance of bravery a core value that inspires us to face challenges with unwavering courage and determination आज मैं एक कहानी सुनाने वाला हूं कहानी उसकी जिसने इंसानों को बचाया और इंसान के अंदर की इंसानियत को भी बचाया जिसने हमारी भाषा जिंदा रखी और हर घर में हिंदवी धर्म को भी बचाया मेरी वादियों में छुपा राज आज मैं खोल रहा हूं मेरे शोभा की कहानी बता रहा हूं
जब शिवाजी राजे की तलवार चलती है तो औरतों का घूंघट और ब्राह्मणों का जनेऊ सलामत रहता है इसी स्वार्थ ने बर्बाद किया है मारा जिसे प्रजा का आशीर्वाद वो मराठा जो जात पात के परे है वो मराठा तांडव है कर Performance you have shown a great charisma. As we transition to our next segment, 
Prepare to be enthralled by the beauty of creativity and synchronized movements by appliable girls of grade 8. The elastic dance represents the value of creativity where flexibility meets precision and every step resonates with innovation. These performances are a testament to the uniqueness within each one of us. So let the rhythm of creativity and the synchrony of movements leave you captivated and inspired, celebrating the core value of individuality that defines and enriches our collective experiences.
fascinated by your performance. Kindness is a virtue that embodies compassion, generosity and a genuine concern for others. In a world that can sometimes seem harsh, kindness stands as a beacon of warmth, reminding us of our shared humanity and the capacity to make a positive impact through our action. And today we are going to know about one such person known for his great generosity and loyalty, Karna from the ancient Hindu literature, the Mahabharata. Up next is a captivating Karna dance drama, a portrayal of benevolence and compassion. This ardent performance by our 7th grader echoes the timeless values of extending a helping hand, fostering a culture of kindness and empathy. As we witness the dancers narrate the tales of benevolence through their graceful movements, let's reflect on how compassion can weave threads of unity in the fabric of our community. தனக்காக வாழாம மத்தவங்களுக்காக வாழ்ந்த ஒரு மா வீரன் சூரிய புத்திரன் வில் வித்தையில் சிறந்தவன் அங்க தேச அரசன் தான வீரன் ஆம் அவனே கர்ணன் அவருடைய கதை உன்னோட எல்லா கேள்விகளுக்கும் பதில் கொடுக்கும் ஐயா கதையா சூப்பர் சூப்பர் சொல்லுங்க சொல்லுங்க கர்ணன் உன் வயசுல இருக்கிறப்பவே அவருடைய கொடுக்கும் குணத்தால சிறந்து விளங்கினார் அப்பேற்பட்ட வல்லல் பிறந்த மண்ணில தான் நாமும் பிறந்திருக்கும் ஓ அப்படின்னா அவங்களுக்கு மத்தவங்க கிட்ட இருந்தும் நிறைய கிஃப்ட் கிடைச்சு கொடுக்கலாமா உம் ஆனா அவருடைய சிறந்த குணமே தன் கிட்ட இருக்கிறத மத்தவங்களுக்கும் ஷேர் பண்ணி எந்த வித எதிர்பார்ப்பும் இல்லாம வாழ்ந்தாரு அப்படியா ரொம்ப இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்கான கேரக்டரா இருக்காரு ஆமா கண்ணா மகாபாரதத்துல வரக்கூடிய மிகச்சிறந்த கதாபாத்திரமே கர்ணன் தான் முனிவர் துர்வாசரிடம் பெற்ற இந்த வரத்தை பரிசோதிப்பதற்கு மிகவும் சித்தமாக உள்ளேன் நதிக்கரையில் விடும் நிலை வந்து விட்டது மாபெரும் பாவியாகி விட்டேனே
அசாத்திய திறமைகளை கொண்டு மிகப்பெரிய போர் வீரனாக இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று நினைத்தான் தேரோட்டியின் மகன் ராதேயன் கௌரவர்களின் மூத்தவனான துரியோதனனின் சகோதரனானார் நட்பை பாராட்டும் விதமாக அங்க தேசத்தை அளித்தான் துரியோதனன் சொல்வதை கவனமாக கேள் இந்திர தேவர் வயதானவர் போல் வேடமிட்டு உன்னிடம் யாசகம் வேண்டி வருவார் 
வணங்குகிறேன் சூரிய தேவரே இந்திரர் ஏன் என்னிடம் யாசகம் கேட்டு வர வேண்டும் நீ தானத்தில் வல்லல் என்று உலகமே அறியும் ராதையா உன் வல்லல் தன்மையை நன்கு அறிந்த அவர் உன் கவசத்தையும் குண்டலங்களையும் தானமாக கேட்பார் சூரிய தேவரே நான் மற்றவர்களுக்கு கொடுப்பதில் தான் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் மற்றவர்கள் இன்பத்தில் வாழ வேண்டும் என்றால் என் வாழ்க்கையை தியாகம் செய்வேன் உன் வல்லல் தன்மையை எண்ணி பெருமிதம் கொள்கிறேன் ராதையா உன் கவச குண்டலங்களுக்கு இணையான சக்தி என்னும் ஆயுதத்தை பெற்றுக்கொள் மகனே வருகிறேன் <laughs> சென்று வருகிறேன் கருணா Hey, hey, hey. 
and coordination. Each move, a testament to the strength that emerges when individuals unite for a common purpose. So, as our performers of grade 6A take the stage, let the rhythm of pole cutter echo the importance of team spirit and coordination, reminding us that together we can achieve extraordinary feats.
as we immerse ourselves in the devotion depicted through dance, let the spirit of Hanuman inspire us to face challenges with unwavering determination and unwavering faith. Next is a performance of the tale of triumph and valor as we witness the epic story of the defeat of Ravana through the mesmerizing art of dance. Let's cheer in our dancers as they embody the core values of courage and determination that led to victory. Sit back and immerse yourselves in the magic of this ancient tale and witness the power of dance as we celebrate the defeat of Ravana. Enjoy the performance. Just a name, a child, can't die if he has to go out. 
now, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the AI dance by our fervent 11th graders. A dazzling display of lights, movement and energy that mirrors the futuristic approach of our school. This electrifying performance symbolizes the brilliance that emerges when tradition meets innovation. As our performers light up the stage, let this be a celebration of the values that guides us, the creativity that fuels us, and the bright future that lies ahead for each and every one of us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis, a virtual artificial intelligence, importing all preferences from home interface. Systems are now fully operational. Optimus Prime, and this message is to my creators. Leave planet Earth alone, because I'm coming for you.
perfect music. Overall, it was a perfect performance. Ladies and gentlemen, as we stand here tonight, surrounded by the vibrant tapestry of talents, let us revel in the grand finale of our 10th annual day. Together, we have woven a decade of memories, creativity and unity. Here is the many more years of celebration, growth and the unwavering spirit that defines us one on one remarkable family. Tonight's grand finale is a testament to the power of relentless hard work paving the path to success. Let the echoes of our achievements resonate as we celebrate the fruits of dedication on this remarkable annual day. Get ready to be inspired as our founder chairperson, Dr. Nalini Prabhu Shankar and our stars of Springmount set tonight's stage on fire.
looking at him, bitch. Six feet deep where they left us for dead and died. Myself out the mud, but my knuckles on the float like a butterfly. Sting like a killer bee, killer bee fuel for them fools. Is you kidding? Shit, I'd rather be in hell for being reckless with my special. Bet you, bet you, bet you, bet you, for I see the purdy gates. I be shining with my purdy white and smiling in their face. With the blood about my mouth to move the mountains out the way.
Good evening, parents. Good evening, parents and grandparents. We are at the end of this wonderful show and at the inception of countless dreams of this institution, completing a decade of its journey, setting goals for its future. On this momentous day, I extend my deepest gratitude to a swarm of people whom I always cherish in life. This person have always taught me to dream big and hold on to it because no one is, no one is going to hold your dream better than you. Yes, even today, even at his age of 76, he still holds me strong from my back and not letting me fall while I chase my dreams. Yes, Appa, your love is my anchor <laughs> and your wisdom is my compass. Thank you, Pa, for being the reason for what I am today. And there is another person who's always pushed me hard to look beyond and more. Yes, not only that, he never allows me to settle down for anything less than the best. My best critic, yet my go-to person. My better half, he's not here today, but still, thank you for being and walking along with me in all walks of my life. All my love to my wonderful students. Yes, you are the purpose of my life. I just love you all to the moon and back. And thank you, parents, for your unwavering support and faith in us. Thank you to my dedicated staffs who has given me the strength and confidence to soar high and spread our wings. All my gratitude to Almighty for keeping us blessed. Thank you, everyone, for giving me the ladder to climb. Thank you. Thank you so much. reports to Thank you, Naldima. It was an inspiring words. And now, it is time to witness the second part of our annual report, which will shine a spotlight on our vibrant co-curricular activities and our spirited sport achievements. Harmony Beyond the Classroom, a symphony of co-curricular excellence at Springmont Public School. In the pages of this annual report, we proudly unfold a vibrant tapestry of co-curricular achievements that resonate with the spirit of holistic education at Springmont Public School. Join us on this journey to the diverse and dynamic landscape of co-curricular activities that define the essence of our educational approach. 
Under the team of nursery well-grounded individuals, our school witnessed a symphony of creativity and innovation. Special days like Well and Harmony Day, Mall Day, and Cyber Security Day, along with engaging in the house competitions and participation in Dilipur and Gwantar Sahodia inter-school events, showcased our students' progress in diverse activities, extending our commitment to excellence beyond school borders. Activities such as MasterChef for both junior and senior students. Short plays and emoji storytelling captivated audiences, while miniature voice sculpture competitions and language exchange festivals provided a platform for artistic expression and cultural exchange. Innovation fairs, quiz bouts, and extensive competitions became arenas for intellectual progress and quick thinking. Our students showcased their exceptional skills in various categories, securing top positions in competitions such as craft competition, wealth of waste, poetry writing, class fiction, and creative writing in Oregon. Not only did we participate, but we also hosted competitions in creative writing, origami, and dance, garnering immense success and enthusiastic participation. Our talented students made their mark in various competitions, securing top positions in following categories. We secured the first position, craft competition for girls. Second position in well top of waste. First position in quizzy combat. First position in poetry writing. Third position in cardi fashion. First position in flash friction. Second position in hackathon. Second position in euphonic battle and first position in creative writing and Oregon. These exceptional achievements reflect the dedication and skill of our students, adding to the pride and success of Spring One Public School, as outlined in the year's annual report. A triumph of talent, Springwood Public Schools Sporting Odyssey. In exhilarating realm of sports, Springwood Public School has not just excelled, we have defined excellence. A commitment to fostering a well-rounded education is exemplified to our students' the enthusiastic participation in a myriad of sporting events. Both within our schools and prestigious inter-school competitions, at the heart of our sports culture lies the intervals, where Vikings, Spartans, Samurais, and Titans displayed unparalleled grit, resulting in a spirited competition. The results speak volumes, with Vikings emerging at the top with 895 points, closely followed by Spartans with 877 points, Samurais with 851 points, and Titans with 815 points. When she beyond our school grounds, our students showcase their prowess at Quantum and Tirupur Sakodia inter-school competitions, leaving an indelible mark. In 44th Quantum Sakodia inter-school football tournament, around the 14 girls team secured the winner position, and then the 19 girls team claimed the third position. The under-14 boys football team on the runner-up position, while the under-19 girls team secured the fourth position in a Lebanese side tournament. Our school's girls football team backed the overall championship trophy, a testament to their outstanding teamwork and skills. Special mention was to Pranani P of Great Time for not only showcasing centrary football skills, but also unsecured the best player award, both in Quantur Sapodia and Kinipur Sapodia football tournaments. 
past the monsoon on the 19 girls team securing the fourth position in Quanker Safodia Inter School Basketball Tournament. In Tirpur, our teams continue their winning streak. The under 19 boys and girls football teams secured the winner position, while the under 10 and 14 boys claimed the runner up position. Our under 12 and under 14 girls emerged victorious, while our under 19 girls secured a commendable runner up position in football. Shreya Suresh shone bright again, winning gold medals in long jump and 100 meter sprint for the Inter School Senior Athletic Meet. At 8 kilo for Safodia Inter School Swim Competition 2023-24, hosted at the Baptist International Montessori School, our students showcased their aquatic prowess securing an impressive tally of 13 gold, 28 silver, and 6 bronze medals. This outstanding performance reflects their dedication and proficiency in the pool, marking Spremont's supremacy in swimming. A sporting enthusiast extended their prowess to diverse disciplines. In skating, our students clinched medals with various categories. The silver team brought home an impressive form of five gold, four silver, and three bronze medals, with Ahem Sabrai and Marzum Rizwan setting new world records. Triumphs at Springmont again. In the arenas of sports, Springmont Public School takes pride in exceptional achievements of its batting athletes. Cricket standards. Kush Badia of Braden a key player for MRF Globe Trotters and Silver Angels Cricket Club, excelling in the DNCA leagues and in the Vijay Merchant Trophy. Manan Jain of Grade 11. Impressive performances in various leagues, contributing significantly to the runner up position in the Quantor Safodia School Tournament. Jain is one of Grade 12. Represented Silver Angels Cricket Club and showcased remarkable bowling skills in district level games. Project of Grade 10 was selected for the under 16 D Cap team showcasing promise as a young cricketer. Your world champion, Dharani Dharan of grade 12 secured first position in the under 19 boys category in Tirupur Sapodia and state driven yoga Sala championships. Back within Dynamo, Shikam of grade 12 represented India at the top 16 national ranking and clinched titles both local and inter-school tournaments. She is series of grade 6A, emerged as a star in athletics, clinching gold medals in 100m sprint and long jump, breaking records in 44th Panther Safodia Inter-District Athletic Meet. In a spectacular showcase of time, our under-14 girls clinched the first place title at the South Indian level football tournament held at Kosovo, adding a regional feather to our illustrious cap. This achievement not only underscores their exceptional skills, but also emphasizes Spring One's commitment to nurturing champions at every level. A year of triumphs, growth, and excellence. Here's to a future filled with promise at Spring One Public School. These athletes not only shine individually, but also exemplify the school's commitment to holistic development through sports. Wonderful presentation showcasing our annual achievements. No matter.
matter what language you speak, a kind and smiling thank you always speaks to everyone's heart. I call upon Samrita of Great 10 to express her words of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, parents, students, teachers, administrative staff, support staff, and the entire Springmount Public School family. As we stand here on the culmination of a momentous journey, celebrating the 10th annual day and the decade of dedicated service in the field of education, I'm deeply honored to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have made this milestone possible. First and foremost, a special thank you to our esteemed chief guest, Colonel A. Sridharan. Your presence has added immense value to our celebration and your journey from defending our borders to contributing significantly to education and societal well-being is truly inspiring. Thank you for being the guiding force behind this event. To Sri E. Palnisamy, Chairman of Armstrong Mills, your visionary leadership and continuous support has, have been instrumental in the growth and success of Springmount Public School. We are truly grateful for your unwavering commitment. Dr. Nalini Prabhushankar, founder chairperson of Springmount Institutions, your visionary force has turned Springmount Public School into a beacon of learning and growth. Your tireless efforts are deeply appreciated. A heartfelt thank you to Mrs. Mahalakshmi, our esteemed principal, for your dedication to provide quality education and holistic development. Your leadership has been the driving force behind the success of our institution. I extend our gratitude to the parents whose trust and support have been the bedrocks of our success. To the students, your enthusiasm and hard work are the true reflection of the excellence we strive for. A big thank you to the teachers whose guidance has shaped the young minds and to the administrative and support staff whose behind the scenes efforts make everything possible. A special mention to Roar Dance Arena Academy for their meticulous planning and execution of this grand event. Your efforts have ensured smooth flow of our celebration. In conclusion, as we bask in the glow of a decade of educational excellence, let us carry the spirit of this moment forward. Thank you all for being an integral part of Springmount Public School journey and here is to many more years of shared success and accomplishments. Good night, this is Samrita signing off. Thank you, Samrita. Thousands laid down their life so that our country breathes down this day. Never forget their sacrifice. So as a true patriot, let's sing the national anthem. I request everyone to rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jaya hai Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravid, Utkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Utchal, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Aashish, Maage, Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangana Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. It's time to wave goodbye a thousand times to the cheerful and the wonder stunk audience. This is Mithun, Vaisishka, Krishika, and Vinayarit signing off.
Dear parents, this information is about the location for dispersal. Parents are requested to pick up their wards from the following areas. Grade 5 and 6, principal's cabin. Grade 7 and 8, PE room in the senior block. Grade 9 and 10, football court. Grade 11 and 12, basketball court. I repeat, grade 5 and 6, principal's cabin. Grade 7 and 8, PE room in the senior block. Grade 9 and 10, football court. Grade 11 and 12, basketball court. Thank you.